Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Playoffs number 45, round of 64 match between Binkit and his Necromantic and Mankiz and his Dark Elves. And what a weird matchup this is. Binkit has a wizard. And uh, so he was like at most 110 TV below the Dark Elves. Binkit's got 13 players. He's got a dirty player guard on the LOS. He's got, you know, he's got another guard zombie there. I, oh, I guess his, his fleshes aren't very good. Yeah, okay, his fleshes are underdeveloped. Just block on the fleshes is a bit rubbish. Only blodge tackle on that wolf. And only blodge edge four. So, okay, so yeah, the, 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 the necro team is lighter than I thought, I guess. I guess the necro team is lighter than I thought. This is a decent... Uh, oh, lovely scatter. Getting blitzed on in the rain. And then having three players there. That was a perfect scatter for Mankiz. Look a dog. He does have an edge five to pick up in the rain as well. So that's good for him. Um, and yeah, I thought I thought that the, the, the Dark Elf team looked a bit light, but actually they're decent, right? They've got loads of they've got loads of Rodge and Blodge. They've got a strength, they've got a mighty glow, they've got an edge. So they've got about just about enough. I think he blitzed with the ghoul. I, I'm not sure about the block mighty blow. Wow, okay. I guess he's got the wizard, so he doesn't want to carry on the edge five. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure about the mighty blow ghoul. I would have much rather had a guard ghoul than a mighty blow. But there you go. In comes the guard. So he can punch the mighty blower. The mighty blower tackle takes care of him. Ouchie. That is a, that is a big loss for Mankiz, isn't it? You know you can argue that he shouldn't have done that, I guess. <laughs> I guess he shouldn't have left that on, maybe. I just shouldn't have engaged up there. Because the ball wasn't in tackle zone, so he just he didn't need to do this, did it? That was like kind of a big commitment. But I mean I guess if you can take can take out a guy, it's good. This, this is a weird offense, isn't it? I, I would have rather Daka than this. The problem is against a wizard, the Daka seems. The Daka seems worse against a wizard. So. Oof. Does use the reroll. Dodges to make the hit. Interesting. I thought he might have just like you know had a, a had an extra screen in the front there and uh, just dodged both of these. But I mean, like obviously you want to hit the wolf, but you're pretty unlikely to knock him over. So like, there's an argument for just having like the full screen in front of the cage. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? Get an extra hit. Like not exactly brain surgery, but still nice to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he can get Chin another hit as well. Yeah, I think I'd have dodged off tackle. It's a two plus, isn't it? Like I think, I think I'd have just rather had that. You know, with the fact that there's the wizard in play. The the front was was quite. He was quite open to the wizard here, actually, wasn't he? And okay, he could have he could have thought that he was safe enough against the wizard, but this is a very advanced fleshy, so I do like trying to get away from this fleshy. It kind of sucks that it it puts you into the other fleshy, but it's very good to get away from this one. That's like a really, really, really 
like rowdily placed for a reason. You could even stick the uh, dirty player on him just to keep him there for an, for an extra turn, even. Yeah, yeah, it's like it is a really lean necro team. Like, yeah, just block on the fleshies. Is. Oh, well, there you go. That's what I'm going to dodge from tackle. Stunned. I guess because he, like, he hasn't, like, it's not that big a dark elf team, is it? So, take, might take the dirty player for when you're down players so you can, uh, you can foul and, you know, when you're down TV, you can foul a bit and try and turn it around, maybe. But yeah, it's it is a bit weird. Man, Kiz is used to chaos more, isn't he? More, more. I wouldn't say famous, but you know, <laughs> better known for like bash teams, like maybe. So maybe he just wanted to do that because he's a shit banger. <laughs> Only joking, Man, Kiz. <laughs> Absolute, absolute idiot banger man kids. All he can do is dirty player foul things. <laughs> Just a joke. So yeah, now it's, it's it's not looking, but it's still four squares deep, isn't it? You can still move past it. Maybe maybe take this dodge here and like get people forward, but he, man kids doesn't seem keen on moving forward yet. And this is just looks like he's waiting to lose, and like you know, it do it does be like that sometimes as elves. Like you, you're just trying to hope they'll they'll do something and give you a chance. And especially against Necro, when you've got these two guys who can go anywhere and cover anything, and these guys who are really hard to do anything against. It is tricky. Turn like it's turn five. But elves aren't dark elves aren't that fast. You really want to be getting <laughs> across the halfway line at some point. <laughs> and now the the fleshies looking a great spot, right? They're like right, you know, parallel to the whole team. This is really good. <laughs> exactly, Paravale, genius. <laughs> genius. Paravale was right all along. <laughs> Not mighty blow blitzing. Oh, yeah, you blitz with him to get him up and that. Yeah, fair enough. And then obviously, if you push down the sideline, they've got they've got the frenzy. I think it's worth pushing here now, isn't it? Surely he can get enough. No, he's not going to. Because this is blood steps. So I wouldn't have minded like assisting with that somehow. Get the hit in and then try and run past here. <laughs> yes, the twat magnet was 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 the saying rather than seen a magnet. But yes, no, I'm done. <laughs> Oh dear, so wow, still not... Oh wow, and there, there there, we go, it was a very loose, very loose formation. The bolt on this guy comes in. I'm not sure that was correct. I think probably better to go for the ball carrier. Because even with tackle, it's better odds, isn't it? You could have moved him out of the way with frenzy as well, was an option. He could have come for the ball with Frenzy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, he could have come with Frenzy, couldn't he? Why don't you come with Frenzy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get two hits. Surely. Surely you can't be serious. That was pretty weird. Yeah, I would have rather bolted the carrier and then really weird to not come with Frenzy. 
Way more. <laughs> Well now, now Mankis does have his chance, doesn't he? All of a sudden, the wizard's gone, and he's got a great breakaway. Well, Paravelli didn't blitz with him, did he? So yeah, why didn't he? Oh wow, he goes for the three plus handle. Oh boy, howdy. Buster dodge five. And then a double one. He got just enough, didn't he? But he, he's got his walls together, which is like basically the worst thing you can do. Because like they can both cover. It's it's like bulls, isn't it? You don't you you don't your uh, you don't want your bulls touching if you're uh, <laughs> if you chaos dwarves <laughs> because they they can like both cover so much ground so. That would have been the weakness had he blitzed with the attack, but he would have just kept the other one back, or whatever. Yeah, surely he can, he can come around here. Looks like a one into a two, maybe. Alright, thank you, Mordred. Yeah, yeah. How many hours away is it? 17. 17 hours away. Boy, howdy. Yeah, so one into two. Ooh, ooh, re-rolls the board down, gets the push into the two, and gets the pow. Got a play. And then a tackle zone. Dodges pop, so yeah, just get in front. Yeah, shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't you have just punched him? And then... And then... <laughs> I guess he wanted to be greedy and get the get the thing as well. But that's like, yeah, I think it, I I would have rather punched him and uh, and made it two into two and have less good recovery. But you know, it's easy to say that, isn't it? On the other hand, like you know, if he'd got a good scatter here and he had that edge wolf, like he's invested the wizard as well, right? He wants he wants the counter score, I guess. Yeah, and the witch would have really helped, yeah, of course. Yeah, like he nearly made it almost safe there, just very unlucky the wizard. And with the wizard with the yeah, witch. Ugh. Oh. Is he gonna get fucked by the rain? Again. This is a bit rough, isn't it? Tackle, I guess. You... No, it doesn't matter if he goes there, he just goes straight in. I rolled a one anyway. So this this wolf is up shit creek. He hasn't got much chances of scoring, has he? Maybe maybe he'll run something down to be a scoring threat. I still think he's got to worry about the uh, dark elves more, to be honest. But this is edge four, isn't it? So it could surf and then pick up one, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. Then, then how do you score? He could come in for the assist. Something like that. And then he could, he could pick it up and run down. This at all. Do I not like that? Oh, diving tackle. Okay, okay, diving tackle. No, the edge four one isn't so good. <laughs> okay, this is this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. I didn't see the diving tackle. And yeah, so then obviously when that's your plan, you've got to keep the fleshy here. And this tackle guy. Wow. 3-3 three, three gets the pout. Doesn't follow. Whoa! <laughs> Tried a leap. <laughs> oh, it's a 2 plus leap and he rolled a 1. <laughs> so he still had a chance of scoring, didn't he? 
Leaping, picking it up, lobbed it to the... We chill if he actually had a decent chance of scoring. Apart from no rerolls. Wow. Is it trip ones? Haha. <laughs> yeah, hard to score in your old trip ones. But obviously no count to score for the necro. And at least the wizard's gone. So like not like at least he hasn't lost the game in the first half, right? He's only taken two KOs. The wizard's gone. It's not as bad as it could have been. Having said that, he's a dirty player foul. Okay. <laughs> now it's pretty bad. <laughs> Apple fails. <laughs> it's funny that even though this isn't live, I still jinxed him. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. That really was looking like not a, that bad a half until his best player got brutally cast. Oh, God. Like, this was so crucial to this game, wasn't it? And the next game. But particularly this one, the tackle. Retroactive jinxing. Like, it's really crazy, isn't it? Like, how, how is that possible? <laughs> So, ten play like ten players is okay. It's okay, isn't it? He's lost both tacklers. He's lost both tacklers against two blood wolves. That is not good. <laughs> yeah, some things just you know. <laughs> I really enjoy it. my favourite my favourite uh, moment of the cup like of everything well I, okay Daedal's Daedal's one was really good but it was it was the uh, the yeti and the ogre and then like I hope he follows him and he did and then he, and then he got <laughs> yeah, exactly, Victor Mago, yeah, yeah. The love story gone wrong, yeah, it was amazing, wasn't it? <laughs> it was so good. Yeah, tackle. It's weird though, isn't it? Like, you can see Dio's point. But also... <laughs> it's kind of a stupid point. <laughs> because dodge is that dodge is that fucking powerful that you've pretty like you have to have tackle somewhere. Yeah, Mighty Blow Mighty Blow Goo was more normal in like Living Rubric 4 and that where you because you couldn't get piling on, a mobile guy a mobile Mighty Blow tackle guy is pretty good, right? He's blodged Mighty Blow tackle, he can go and hit L's and stuff. Pretty nice. But when you can get piling on in CRP, then uh, the ghoul becomes shit, and he just gets he just gets block guard because well then he can do something block guard sidestep, and then because you always want to be blitzing with your tackle from white, <laughs> basically. So yeah, it, it used to be more normal, but kind of became irrelevant. Thanks to Pyramon being so much better than Mighty Blow. <laughs> the Dark Elf Broken Armor, maybe. <laughs> maybe. He's got Diving Tackle, Blood Step on the Ball. He's read his Reddit articles of how to, <laughs> how to, how to stop our offences. <laughs> okay, I've based the ball with Sidestep Diving Tackle. Nothing can go wrong now. <laughs> um, I mean, I won't play Blood Bowl 3. No, I'm <laughs> Uh 
apart from hundred dollars per game. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I guess if someone gifts me and then pays me a hundred dollars per game to play, um, assuming that happens, then yeah, Mighty Blow Duels will, will again become a thing because then having that mobile Mighty Blow Tackle is a good thing again. But um, because yeah, there's no obviously no one's taking Power Driver. Is you to dodge the other. Yeah. Oh, he's not blitzing with it. Oh, he's already blitzed. Okay. Okay. Ah, yes, and the, the square that's open has guarding, so it's not even that bad. How much guard is on the Dark Elves? Just the one? I guess he didn't need as much with the strength. He's just going to go for the uphill wrestle. Oh, wonder, yeah, of course. Oh, God, I'm stupid. God damn it, I'm stupid. Goes for the 1D. He, if he, he's blocked his path, if if this guy had like just been here, he could have uh, he could have dodged the witch elf and then gone and based again. Like I like it more that turn than the previous turn because it was kind of easy to fill those squares. Like I know it's not doing a lot, but I I don't know. It's just it's just not doing a lot here, is it? I guess it's 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 keeping the ghoul tied up, but also the ghoul doesn't mind just punching you if he wants or just being isolated. Eventually, the weight of hits is going to take a toll, isn't it, on the Dark Elves, you would imagine. There we go. Another one gone. Totally safe. It's now they're fully stabilised. And now that they're fully stabilised, it's going to get very difficult for a uh, for a dark elf team with limited tools to do anything, isn't it? They've got a leap edge five, but what's he going to do? <laughs> One dice or uphill block doesn't seem good. get in the way a bit, but wolves are very, very fast. <laughs> dark elves, this dark elf team, not the best at, at breaking armor or knocking anybody over or doing anything ever, really. <laughs> he's got to show this up or he's lost. And even that, I don't think is enough, because he can come through now, can't he, if he wants. He doesn't want to. Taking it easy still. <laughs> Everyone who loses deserves to lose, and everyone who wins deserves to win, because... <laughs> the people who've won have scored more touchdowns than their opponent. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, like... It's a reasonable argument because he is going to get chances to move forward later. But I mean, it's it's getting on in the drive, isn't it? Move 12, he's still in his own half. But he doesn't have to get too far in. I don't know. And like, powing there, he could have caged here. Maybe he didn't have enough to get in front as well. Uh, whoever, whoever won the whoever won the penalties deserved to win because they won the penalties, didn't they? <laughs> Vela Hoppier couldn't be more deserving of his chalice with Norse. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? Like he did it, he did it. That's it. It's, it's. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand this thing of like saying some people deserve it more. Or 
This one sort of deserved to win. It is what it is. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing, Limonos. Yeah, that's the thing. So, like, that's why you want to take... Like like dwarves, right, with their long beards, you, you want to take as much as you can because it's not that easy. Like, okay, sure, you... you your walls are really fast and you don't have to get that far forward but it it's a bit like if anybody remembers if anybody remembers the uh the, those are rebel playoffs where uh, some dude had like a dwarf that was it was something like movement eight edge four or something you know like he was insane he had a completely insane runner and uh and he just he just he just really didn't try and get forward at all and then just like randomly ran eight squares and scored, and he just did that. He just did that pretty much every game. He just made really made no effort to move forward, <laughs> and then and then randomly got in like a few squares and then banged it in. Yeah. <laughs> I've got no idea how much that is, no door, but it's almost certainly no deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see if I get gifted Blood Bowl 3 and when it comes out. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, I really hate, I really just hate using Necro and I hate playing against them because, like, they are obviously really good, so I never really enjoy playing against them. You know, because you like you can't reliably cast them because they just regen, and, and so like so you can't, you know, and you can't like outpace them because the wolves are so fast. So like, two of the main ways you can beat teams, like depending on whether like you know your chaos or elves or whatever, you just aren't really open to. You. Like it's really tough. They can they can foul you all the time. Like, just, they've just got lots of answers and problems, haven't they? And it's like, you know, the fleshies are annoying. It's like, they're a weird team, but then when I use them, I'm just like, oh, they're just crap and I don't like them. It's really weird. Yeah, you know, they only ever roll powers <laughs> while your team never breaks armor. <laughs> That's a real problem against them, I find. <laughs> God, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, that probably, yeah, that, that makes sense, but you, oh god, he's, he's allowed him to sidestep twice, but he got the power second one. No, but you know what I mean, like, they're, they're, I always think they're a hard opponent, like, they're one of the, I think they're one of the best teams, like, same as Skaven, right, I think Skaven one of the best teams, like, one of the most dangerous teams to beat you, for sure, but... It's like, but also I just don't like using them. I, like, I, I don't know, I don't like the variance of Skate. I don't like doing desperation plays, even even though the desperation plays of, of you know, Skate are never that bad, aren't they? Like, you know, uphilling with wrestle, tackle, strip. You know, is, is <laughs> all you've got to do is not roll a skull. And I'll still roll the skull every fucking time, you know, it's... <laughs> Like, I just don't want to have to roll those dice. It, he's had really nice dice, hasn't he, Pink, at this game? Really nice dice. Wow, in comes the 1D against Blodge. Like, that's the thing. It's just shit, isn't it? Like, it's just he's just not a good sacking player. Like, that was the problem. It's just like... Uh, what is real? <laughs> oh, Rick Baseman. Like, that's the problem. Like, he's just, he's just not a sacking player. So, like... It's nice having an edge five leaper, but what does he do when he get there? It's like nothing, nothing. <laughs> if he was a high elf catcher, he could have taken wrestle. Like you really don't want to take wrestle on a on a uh, on a blitzer, do you? But you know, like if it was a high elf catcher that had rolled those three skills, he could then take wrestle and tackle or wrestle and strip and be like a good sacker, couldn't he? Wow, wow, I think that was a bad reroll. Like, that puts you on none. 
and you've still got to clear that. You've still got to clear that witch. I'm like, okay, let him get. It let him get an extra. It lets him get the blitz, and it lets him get the extra guard around the ball, and lets him do that. But like, now there's no rerolls for the last turn, or in overtime if it goes to overtime. That was a very risky reroll. I wonder if he like, you know, thought about it ages before making the block, or if he just kind of like snap rerolled it. He just went for the lead. And <laughs> double won the leap. <laughs> I would have at least... I, I would have definitely blitzed with a witch elf and just, just get in the way and like make him roll some dice. You know, like a, just try and get... Um, I mean, I would have obviously failed with his dice, but I feel like he had to just get in the way with the witch elf and, and make him hit the witch elf without a reroll. Didn't he? I don't know, that's probably still really shit odds. You probably are better odds overall to just leap in in one day, and I guess, or up him, whatever it is. I guess. Like, he had loads of players, didn't he? I, I guess getting the blood step in the way doesn't really do a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, yeah, he should have gone, he should have gone shadowing. <laughs> should have gone shadowing on the edge five dodger. <laughs> I mean, he could have taken tackle, couldn't he? Like, tackle sure is. Like, it's really hard to, to, to diverge from, like, the obviously good skills like dodge, sidestep, tackle, and stuff. Wrestle. Got, he got some real bad luck there, though, man, because with, like, the, uh, this foul and, and, like, just generally all the constant powers from the Necro and his constant pushes. Yeah, and got blitz done, yeah. And they still nearly came out of the first half all right until that foul. <laughs> until the foul into Kaz, into failed Apple. <laughs> yeah, the double one where he could have scored. Like, he still had a decent chance, didn't he? Even though it was in the rain. Like, the Edge 5 picking it up and then logging it to the Witcher. It was actually a, a, a fine chance to score. So, yeah, this was... This was definitely edging towards a dicing. It's, that one turns hard, isn't it? Because of all the players, like the lack of players, basically impossible, I guess. It was maybe possible, but, but basically impossible. He's surely gonna fail. Does nothing. And there you go. <laughs> do, you, do you win, Fairy? It would have taken a lot of skill, though. <laughs> Is that the first day? It was! It was the first day of E-Break! <laughs> Shit, that was literally the first day of e break. Oh my god. Oh my god. 22 blocks sustained and nothing. And then 53 blocks, 4 kills, 3 cars. Their armor. To be fair, it was only knocked down 11 times. This is like one of the lowest number of rolls I've ever seen after a game. That is like hardly any D6s, is it? Holy shit. So his his armor his armor was a hundred essentially. And his was sixty-two. It's leaps with three out of five ones. Oh dear. Absolutely brutal. What was his block dice? 20, 11, 14. <laughs> he barely got knockdowns. <laughs> and he got 44, 36. So he didn't get that many knockdowns on, in percentage, but I guess he probably rolled more. Like, you know, if. Because getting this many powers or whatever, and that many skulls, if you're always rolling the power with the skull, it, it's, it doesn't matter, does it? And like, he did roll a few dub skulls, to be fair. 
but that, that seemed like a bit of a dicing. A bit of a dicing. Um, so there you go. Right. Congratulations, Binkit, and commiserations, Mankiz. But, like, you know, uh, it's like... It, uh, you know, don't get me wrong. Like, I think Binkit did, you know, mostly the correct things, right? I think he probably should have gone for the ball with tackle. Um, but, like, you, you, you can't deny that that was a bit of a dicing, can you? Um, right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.